What's up, y'all? I hope you're all well and in good spirits. I'm going to talk about the Goshen press conference and how these people in power use uh, the Raza's pain and suffering to further their own political agendas. Here's the sheriff talking about the incident. We are criminals with guns, not innocent people with guns, not law-abiding citizens with guns. These are criminals with guns. I believe is a direct result of guns crossing over an unsecured border. Now, when liberals talk about guns, they often mention that red states have much more lenient um, gun purchasing opportunities. And so a lot of guns come from those states into um, liberal states. You know, that's one of the arguments around Chicago. Folks that say, well, look, it's always been liberal. They got strict gun laws and look at all the gun violence. And then those folks would say, well, that's because we're surrounded by red states where it's easy to get a gun. So they go there and get them and bring them over. Now, this guy is in law enforcement. So it's a very safe assumption that he's a supporter of 2A, the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. And when he says unsecured borders, it's also a safe assumption that he's not talking about red states. He's probably a conservative himself, uh, given that he's in the Central Valley and in a law enforcement position. So why would he say that? Because he's conflating an immigration issue with a gun issue. To the best of my knowledge, guns are not coming into the U.S. from Mexico. To the best of my knowledge and not based on any personal experiences, on people I know, on private conversations, strictly on literature searches and uh, the like, you know, watching TV, uh, documentaries, guns go to Mexico and money goes to Mexico and drugs flow this way and other contraband, what have you. Um, there was even a conservative talking point beating up on the Obama administration for a operation they conducted called Fast and the Furious, where a bunch of guns were sold to people who then took them to Mexico for use down there. And they were lost. So the U.S. got paid off selling these guns. They were probably used to kill a lot of innocent people in Mexico and maybe not so innocent people. And so the understanding is that guns go from here to Mexico and not the other way. So why did he say that? Because he was trying to push a political agenda that had nothing to do with that incident. And that's pretty callous to use a platform like that based on so much suffering to push a political agenda that doesn't have anything at all to do with what happened. It's not because guns came over from Mexico. And, um, and then further evidence that I think he's using this, uh, you know, platform for political purposes was him, you know, pushing up on... Newsom for the death penalty. I'll say this. Um, I don't need the most recent incident to make me think that a moratorium on the death penalty uh, serves interest for everybody. I think the guy who um, killed Polly Class doesn't deserve that benefit of that moratorium. In fact, he probably deserves cruel and unusual punishment, torture. Um, you know, I would give Gavin props if he brought that back just for Richard Allen Davis, who did that to Polly Klaas. I don't need this incident to make me say, hey, that moratorium um, denies justice to people. So um, just another example of politicians using current events to push their own agenda. They don't give a shit about, you know, the people arrested or the people killed. What else are they going to say besides, oh, our heart goes out to these kids? They got to say that shit. They really cared. They wouldn't be trying to make this an immigration issue when it's not. Have a good one.